We have a, an open spot in the, uh, for Oakland County Executive. So we have our new candidate. So Nick, come on over here and tell us something about yourself. Who are you? This is our candidate, Republican candidate for Oakland County Executive, Nick Janich. Good evening, everyone. I know the G's and the J's get tricky, so I'm used to it, but it's pronounced Joni for those that aren't familiar with it. So Nick Joni, great to meet everybody. I'm running for Oakland County Executive. I know I've met a few of you before at various polit political fundraisers and events, um, but I just wanna say, Matt's right. We are in a state of decline. We need Republican leadership. We need to get back to business. And I can tell you, and I think we all agree that over the last few years, we've watched the country go down, the county go down, and it's keep going. I mean, it's what we're hearing tonight. <clears throat> but then I got tired of complaining and sitting on the sideline and <clears throat> couldn't move, couldn't leave the state like so many of my friends and family have. So then I started talking with Vance Patrick about running for Oakland County Executive. And he was super supportive you know, about working with me to get the county moving in the right direction. We all know that running for office in today's climate is pretty tricky and a huge commitment. And I had to have this conversation with my wife and my kids, my wife again. And now she wants to be first lady, guys, so you know the pressure's on, so. <laughs> but I also uh, had other conversations, and that's with my community, my church, my pastor, my faith is important to me. And uh, the overwhelming support, I was floored. And it really gave me the heart and the courage to throw my hat into the ring. Just a little bit about me, I spent the last couple of decades in the hospitality sector. I own several businesses. And then I had a change of heart, started completely over, and now I enjoy a career as an insurance executive. I also enjoy being the parish business manager of a 3,000 family parish in Rochester Hills. But getting back to business, I'm not a government expert. I don't have a plan right out of the gate. That's what we're working on. I'm looking for the biggest, the best, the brightest people that we can surround ourselves with because it's truly a team effort. And this is what's gonna garner these solutions that we need. Um, but this past month, I've traveled the county. I've spoken with several community leaders, <laughs> county departments, and local officials. And I can tell you, they are scared of where this county's headed, guys. I mean, it's scary, and I think we all share that fear. The Oakland County Sheriff's Department has equipment that's outdated. Two helicopters, once in disrepair. My opponent managed to climb Dave. He just ignores it, instead of funding law and order, funding what these guys need, we're sitting there left with stuff that's just, you know, rotting away. I also met with the Road Commission, and they're unsure if they're, go they're, unsure if they're gonna receive the necessary funding to maintain the county roads. And yet the transit tax is going to bring an estimated $66 million of your money. August is coming, everyone. We're gonna see what that's about. We see the buses and we see them empty, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's something we can't ignore. We gotta speak up. Um, there's a lot of things that's going on. Talk about the police training center. Road commissions funding might run out by 2027. Um, learn something today about our property taxes that went up 29.7%. $80 million between 2022 and 2023, largely due to this transit tax and property tax values increasing, of course. Our budget has grown to $1.09 billion, up from $758 million. Crazy, right? Yeah. 2019, that's when Coulter took over, a 44% increase. I call that managed decline, guys. But I want to leave you with this. Getting back to 
why I jumped in the race. Like all of us, we care about our future, about our kids. I know Mary Patterson, who was running for the spot, struggled in the fundraising department. But as of today, I just want to let you know I've raised over $100,000 and have several fundraising commitments. We all know this is going to be a big raise, close to $2 million. So I'm going to need your help, whether it be in dollars, support, or all of the above. But we're all got to work together to get you know, the Republicans across this finish line. So thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to talking with everyone. Now, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, Nick. Nick, Jonah, is, there, is that right? Jonah. Thank you so much for coming.